You are the sum of the company you keep. Spend time around the wrong people, you may pick up bad habits. Spend time around the right people, and you can achieve a lot. We as humans are influenced this way, and so are the molecules that make us up. They also make up the technology that we use every day. The behavior of these molecules can be greatly changed depending on what neighboring molecules are around them. Just like how you might be more talkative or outgoing depending on who's around, a molecule, depending on its neighbor, may do its job better, worse, or just differently. In my research, I use this to improve the behavior of molecules in solar cells. We'll call them orange molecules. They capture energy from the sun and convert it to electricity we can use. Now by themselves, the orange molecules do a pretty good job, but there are limitations I'm trying to address. Instead of capturing 100% of the energy the sun has to offer, they may only capture 20%. But just like with humans, this is where a good collaboration can make a big difference. What if I introduced neighboring green molecules into the solar cells that would help the orange molecules do a better job? What if the green molecules captured an additional 20% of the sun's energy and through some cool chemistry, sent that over to the orange molecules, which would now be able to use 40% of the sun's energy? This would be pretty interesting. But where would I put the green molecules? Everything in the solar cell already has a very specific place. And if I'm not careful about this, I might make the solar cell actually work poorly. Now, you might have experienced when a collaboration doesn't go very far because there isn't the right support for it, even a small collaboration. For example, let's say I need to change the light bulbs in my home, but my ceilings are too high, so I call my neighbor to help me. My neighbor will only be helpful if they bring a ladder because otherwise, despite there being two of us, we still won't get the job done. Similarly, in this case, if I don't incorporate the green molecules correctly in a way that keeps them in place in the solar cell, they will roam around and be unhelpful. So my research has first been looking at identifying if I can use a polymer as a material to keep them in place. This polymer just looks like layers of net that can trap things. We first test this outside of the solar cell to confirm that when trapped in this polymer, the green molecules still help the orange molecules. Results from my research have shown that yes, they do still help the orange molecules. Next, we can work on transferring this into an actual solar cell to confirm that we still see the healthy collaboration when in the solar cell before moving into the real world and maybe one day using these solar cells to power the room that we're in right now. And yes, the molecules are actually orange and green. Thank you.